landscape photography, on location, seascapes. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the pictures that I took on the North Cornwall coast. I'll show you my camera settings and the equipment that I used. For the full story, watch the rest of the video. Okay, so that's the uh, trailer pack, the car hooked up, and we're pretty much ready to go. Um, the plan this weekend was to go out to uh, North Cornwall and with the family. Um, so it's a family sort of a weekend, long weekend um, camping trip. Um, but there's always opportunities to take photographs when you're at the coast. So my plan is to spend the whole day with the family um, and then hopefully whilst they're still in bed to sleep, get up early in the morning to get out and take some photographs. Maybe even see if I can find some time to get out and do some sunsets as well. I've got to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm not feeling that great. I've come down with the dreaded um, man flu, so now I'm, now I'm ready to go. I'm going to chill out for a few minutes and, uh, and, and then sort of do the final bits before everybody gets back from school and we're ready to go. I'm pretty sure with the light conditions and the way things are, you're probably not getting a very good picture of this. So um, first of all, I'll have to apologise for that. Now, you may remember at the beginning, in fact, you probably do, because it was probably about five seconds ago, I wasn't feeling too good, but I was getting the car packed up, ready to come down to um, Cornwall on a family holiday. So we're down here now, and um, I've got to be honest, Friday night, all day Saturday, I felt pretty rough, and I uh, couldn't really face coming down here uh, when everybody else is in a warm, toasty bed, or breaking away from some entertainment last night, we had a pretty good singer on the campsite, and uh, coming down here in the cold and dark and taking pictures, it's going to be the right frame of mind to do that. So, Anyway, I've come down here now this morning. Um, it was completely pitch black when I got down here. I had an idea for composition, so I've just stopped and taken the um, scene behind me, which if it comes out, then I'll um, put it up on the on the camera, you know, on, on the screen and show you when we get back to the office. But um, it, it worked out to be something like a two second exposure. Um, it was taken at, ooh, I would say, about uh, 150, 160 mil on my 300 mil lens and um, shooting at f8 using of course the Canon 5D Mark IV. Um, so I've got another composition in mind that I want to try and take um, a little bit back further up the beach before the sun gets much higher. Then we're going to come down, walk along the shoreline a little bit, try and shoot along the line of the waves and uh, shoot the rocks out to sea behind me as the sun comes up and uh, see what happens. Now the sun should come up and uh, catch those and illuminate them quite well. It's a fairly blank sky, so I don't think we're going to get a lot of colour in it. Um, but I think there's another image to be added over here that can move quickly enough. And uh, then there'll be something else further along the beach. And we'll just see what happens as, as we walk back along. But I'm, I'm hoping for maybe one, two, three pictures this morning. Maybe four, um, depending on how things actually work out and go. So um, without me sort of um, taking up any more time, I'm going to hightail it back over to the other side in a minute, take some images, and I'll see you guys later on. Okay, so I've seen this um, composition behind me here, where um, I'll point it out to you by looking. You see this rock down here in the foreground, and obviously the um, small island right cropping a rock, whatever you want to call it, on the horizon. But the waves coming in towards me and breaking in front of me. There's been a very few instances waves have actually got up as far as this rock and retreated back around. So hopefully, uh, if I stand here for a little bit, I'm going to get the opportunity to take a picture where the rock has actually got water around it and it's flowing back out. So that's really just a game now, sitting and waiting for something to happen. Now I'm hoping for a slower shutter speed so we can get those streaks of water and those waves driving back in. So at the moment I'm shooting at about F11 and about 8 seconds. Now, it might well be that as the sun comes up, and everyone, it'll definitely be as the sun comes up, I'm going to have to change that and modify what I'm doing. Now, because the tide, the water, the waves are changing every so often, I'm going to have to take a number of images and I may not be able um, to do much to camera. Take a few pictures now and just see what we actually get. As always, I'm uh, levelling the tripod up using the uh, spirit level on the back, and I'm also using my um, cable release and also my um, shutter um, remote as well, so that I don't have any um, problems. As always, I'm using the camera lockup. I tend to use 
sorry. I tend to use a live view if I can. Uh, it doesn't drain the batteries, but it does make composition I think, much easier. Not only that, you can see the histogram, and when you're using the histogram for shooting, you can obviously adjust your exposure and see what you're getting, and your accuracy rate and your hit rate is much, much better. So I'm just going to move the camera around just a little bit. Position where I am at the moment, I'm just getting that head a little bit towards it. So I might have to adjust it a little bit in a minute. Um, What I do when I'm focusing is I'll use the um, you know, button zoom right in. And then I don't know if you can see this on the screen from where you are, but you can really focus in sharp on that detail. You get really close and you can just see that it's absolutely in sharp. Really, it's a beautiful screen on the 5D to um, be able to sort of focus and work with. So there we are. Press the first button, second button, zoom in and have a look. Yeah, that's quite good. I think as the light comes up, I'm going to put a great crowd over. hoping that this uh, sea comes up around this rock. So I'm not really sure if the um, last bit of video that I shot came out that well, so if it didn't, here's some information again. If it did, then I guess I've got extra um, or something I just don't need to see. Anyway, um, I've changed my composition ever so slightly from where I was last time, and uh, what I'm doing now is I've, is I've moved the camera forward a little bit and tilting it down a bit more. I've also put a polarizing filter on, just take a bit of a sheen off that water and put a grey grad in because the sky's now starting to pick up. Um, I've got the same idea of having the water coming around this rock and that's why I keep looking back away from the camera so I do apologise for the audio. But the idea... Here we go. Sorry. So the idea is that the water will come and swirl around this rock and as it moves back out I'm going to get a really good, really good image. As it stands at the moment, um, it's just a waiting game really, just waiting for the water to come in and change it in both all the time. I think when the tide comes in a bit more, I'm going to try and move further down the beach that way and maybe shoot along the beach um, and see if I can do something with that. There's some really beautiful big waves coming in and uh, maybe the light's going to pick up on those as well. The light's just starting to pick up on the water. There's some lovely images and pictures and stuff out there. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll do something in that, in that respect. I do really feel like today I'm struggling with the filming because uh, I'm kind of backs and forwards quite a bit and it's, it's maybe not coming out quite as good as it could be. So I do apologise. Okay, so I, I, I reckon I've probably, sorry, I reckon I've probably got my final, um, my final setup here now. So I've got a Lee 0.75 neutral density grad hard data, hard edge, because I just want to mask off the long by the by the rocks on the headland. Um, I've got a polarising filter on, which has the added bonus of not only cutting down the reflection of the water and strengthening the colours, but it's also meaning I can run at a slightly slower shutter speed. So I'm shooting at about one and a half to two seconds at the level. And I'm just watching the water come in and out like I was before. So I'm going to take a few more exposures and then um, I'm going to have a bit of an experiment. Uh, I'm not going to film that, I might take another image in a minute. Uh, experimentation, I'm going to just move around fairly quickly because things are changing quite quickly now. And uh, unfortunately, although I'd like to film them all, or unless I have somebody else doing the filming for me, 
it takes a little bit of extra time and uh, I haven't got the time to uh, look at. So here we are, we're just waiting now. There we go, there's another one taken. Just waiting for these rocks, these uh, things to come in. So there's a, there's a little wave coming in now behind me, you can just see it. There it is, swirling around the rock and lift. There we go. Yeah, that's really, really nice. A little bit of highlight too much on there. But I'm not overly concerned because I think what will happen is um, it, it'll be okay. Now I am exposing for the highlights to help control the shutter speed. So we'll just take it again up just a little bit higher. Just going to wait for those waves to come back in. This the one. This could be the one. And click. There we go. Yeah, okay. I think we've just about got it. I'm just going to let the sun come up a little bit more. Just look at the sun just to, just to catch the bottom of those rocks. The sun just to rise, uh, just to rise a few more degrees, and um, when it comes up over, it'll just be hitting the, uh, the bottom of that rock down there. Just along the along the horizon, I think it'll be a much stronger, more powerful picture. safely up the beach a little bit and uh, just take the cameras and what I need down towards the water's edge and uh, see if we can work down there for a little bit. Yeah, so I've moved along the beach um, a little bit now and uh, you can probably see out to my right hand side, you know, we've got the headlands and the rock in the distance behind us and I've got these rocks down behind me in the foreground as well. So. Um, we've done with the last composition. I think we've got some good images there. I'm hoping that I'll, that I'll get some equally good, certainly some, some good or interesting pictures from this one. The only thing now, we've got a couple of dog walkers and dogs approaching, and generally they sort of uh, cause me a little bit of alarm and uh, get in the way a little bit. Uh, set up. Hopefully, we'll get a few waves coming around these rocks, and uh, whilst we're choosing that, we'll get something really interesting and take some more pictures. So I'm going to get set up, see what I can come up with, and uh, we'll catch up with you folks in a minute. Well, I've been sat here for quite a while now, and uh, actually it's freezing cold. Not only that, the way you don't be coming up to these rocks the way that I want them to. So. I don't think the picture is going to work that well. There's, there's, there's quite a lot of disconnect between the between the foreground and the main background image. Partly because of the position I'm in, and I'm using a fairly wide angle lens, so to make it really interesting, the foreground is going to be the bigger, most important part of the picture, in my opinion. So I think I'm going to call it for the beach at the moment. Um, there is some pictures I'm going to take on the way back up, where there's some really nice reed, bread, reed beds and, a, and an S curve in the river. So. If that works out, I'll stop and uh, show you those pictures. If it doesn't, then uh, this will be the end.
The story continues next time when I make the most of the harsh lighting and the gritty textures you can find in the sand dunes. So you don't miss it, make sure you hit the subscribe button now. I'd love to see your comments, thumbs up and thumbs down. But until next time guys, enjoy your photography, stay safe, see you soon.